Конечная, парни. Дальше пешком. Минувший день. Сомневаешься, Игорь? Не волнуйся, скоро будем думать. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be trying out an early access game called Shinoblite. It's, uh, I believe it's a first person shooter. I'm not too sure in terms of the genre. It seems like a similar type game to the Metro um, series, kind of a scavenger survivor shooter game. Um, so I'm just going to go through the in-game settings as usual, playing at ultra settings at 3840 by 2160 And now this game is in early access, so... Um, you have to bear in mind this game is not 100% optimized yet, but um, it does warn you if you do use these settings, even on a powerful machine, you can expect low performance. But I'm just going to go ahead and do that anyway, as you know. I like to run my games maxed out, so. Looking at the game visually, it looks pretty good. So we've got to avoid search party, so I believe we're in Chernobyl, um, so and we know about the uh, nuclear meltdown in 1986, I think it was. Hey Igor, hey Igor, возьми себя в руки, сосредоточься. Пробираемся через забор и спускаемся в канализацию. Верно? Настоящая спецоперация. Игорь, если все полетит к чертям, ты главное не высовывайся. Давай без геройства на этот раз. Хорошо, хорошо, я же не солдат. So yeah, I'm guessing this is before the nuclear meltdown. Um, then again, it's kind of interesting why we're wearing... Um, I think we're wearing gas masks anyway. Let me try and look at my... Uh, yeah, my uh, comrades here are wearing gas masks. So I'm assuming this is after the 1986 um, nuclear meltdown. And this is Chernobyl. So yeah, I'm just trying to work out what's going on here. It seems that we're trying to infiltrate the place. So you do get to kind of choose how you respond to your opponent. I do like a bit of branch options. I'll be polite to him. He hasn't been rude so far. Встретимся там. Проклятие. Нет здесь никого, я же говорил. Грузовик, который мы убили. Так, вы Хорош болтать. Будьте на чеку. Этот грузовик сам по себе не приехал. Кто-то в нем явно был. Оставайся в тени. Окей, okay, I need to stay hidden. I'll try and move forward. I don't want to get um, caught by the guards. So my uh, two guys were able to boost me over, but then uh, someone came over, so they had to leave me. But I'm sure we will uh, link up a little later. So even though this game isn't really quite optimized yet, I'm still getting half decent performance maxed out at 4K. But I would assume the final product will uh, run a lot better but in terms of the actual looks of the game it's not bad at all I think this is made on a Unreal Engine not too short version I would assume it's Unreal 4 so I just got to navigate through this environment I don't think I'm meant to take on any hostiles it doesn't appear like I've got any weapons so I can't let anyone see me so. 
вот осторожить хрен знает что у черта на рогах. Никто не выкупит, что мы напились. То, что надо. И не говори. Okay, so what that shows that means they're uh, they can see you or s slightly see you. Let's see if I can jump over this. No. Okay, I'll find another way. Maybe if I'm quick enough. So that won't see me. I'm gonna stay here for now. На помощь! На помощь! Я подумал, что подмога тебе не повредит. Right, like me. Let's see if pick up a weapon. Uh, weapons can't be picked up without the fire lock disabler. Okay, so I can only take money. Apparently there's something that um, only allows the person who's being bi biometrically linked to the weapon to use it, so hey, that's interesting. Yes, this. It's great, it's right. After me, then I guess. Mm, okay, that's <laughs> В три, шесть, да. Так себе, конечно, но не катастрофа. Мы в безопасности. Больше нигде не безопасно. I guess I'll just make sure it's safe enough to go downstairs. Хорошо, я иду первым. Антон, прикрой меня. Так точно, сэр. Оливер, сэр. Why do I not get to use a weapon? to keep everyone safe. I wonder if I can get anything useful here. Worth exploring, I guess. Nothing down here. А еще у Лохани полный армей Мар. Конечно, нет проблем, Игорь. Может прибавить... Слайд ищи с субтитрами, чтобы они могли быть спасены немного лучше. Но, эм... Сосредоточься. Я думаю, это будет сортировано позже.
this is kind of reliving events before the meltdown. Seems uh, my character's having flashbacks of the actual events. Tatiana lady, I wonder who she is. It's like a secret voice guided me. It'd be interesting to find out who she is. Okay, I'll go on the right Okay, I'll go on the right way. 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 Okay, Давай доложим сержанту, что тут все чисто. Рано еще. Чёткий приказ. Уровень должен быть трепа. Надо искать утечку. Let's hope he's got a weapon I can use. Like a cat on the way, it does seem to be quite safe around here. Alright, what now? This way. This needs to be the main control room. I'm not sure 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 в этот раз давай без ядерной катастрофы, хорошо? Хорошо, Игорь. Какой у нас план? Выломать терминал и проверить, работает ли кнопка АЗ-5. Voice acting is actually pretty good. Um, so that's uh, it's nice to see some of these indie games. They don't really have the best voice acting, but um, sounds good to me so far. But maybe someone who is Native Russian may not Игорь, agree, but for me it sounds good. Okay, I'll just follow you then. Игорь, не трать время. Разберись с этой чертовой кнопкой АЗ-5. Looks like a puzzle, hopefully. It's not. Что? Почему, Татьяна? Что-то не так. Ты с кем разговариваешь? I'll just point out the truth. I think I'm crazy. Я в норме. Просто система не реагирует как надо, и но мы не можем спровоцировать еще один взрыв, новую катастрофу. Дерьмо. Это же был твой план с самого начала. Что теперь? Я? Я не знаю. Надо проникнуть в помещение реактора ну, как-то иначе. О боже, черт! Ладно, хорошо. Придется делать это жестко. Выдвигаемся, Антон. Вперед! В помещение реактора! To be fair, there hasn't really been anyone to kill yet, so it's not so much of a big deal, but I better get a weapon soon. Останусь-ка я здесь. Один в темноте, 
Лучше подумать все, чем потом This is gonna take us. I had a feeling the woman would be at the root of all of this. So I gained experience. I wonder what for. I'm not too sure about the progression system in this game. So far, so much is unknown. But that's fine. Let's just uh, see where this takes us. Oliver! Oliver, where are you? The summer was so long, cold, and dark. Мурманск. Я ненавидела этот город. Мне было там так одиноко. Эти долгие-долгие часы дни разлуки. Так далеко от тебя. Сейчас легко вспоминать, как я пережила ее. The voice is uh, strangely soothing to me. I don't know why. Um, anyway, I'll try and find my way out of this kind of maze. So this um, harnessed kind of radiate, radiated crystal and this kind of tool that I have can kind of open portals it would appear. So there's Oliver. Good to see he's still alive. wonder how I get over here. Hey, Igor. I thought this guy killed you. Oliver. Anton. Антон был хорошим парнем и хорошим бойцом. Он погиб ужасной смертью. Да что это, черт возьми, было? Кто этот ублюдок? Я... я не знаю, но он не телепортировался. Должно быть, это... трансцендент биакционная проекция пространственного временного континуума. Вот дерьмо, только не начиная опять. Нет, нет, никакой научной лабуды. Прекрати, а то у меня голова взорвется. Где мы, черт побери? Внутри. Внутри чего? Ничего. Дело нигде или когда мы внутри точки сингулярности. Везде и нигде одновременно. Ага, конечно. Бред собачий. Нам надо убираться отсюда. Уверен, тот парень идет по следу. А у меня ни малейшего желания еще раз с ним встретиться. Так что, куда нам? Где выход? А, да, ты прав. Конечно, чудеса могут и подождать. Смотри, вон там. Вон выход, видишь? Вижу. Тогда давай встретимся у Михаила. Ай, черт. Моя рука так болит. Сломана. Я убью тебя. Ты. Ублюдок в черной маске. За Антона. So you can skip that dialogue, but uh, I didn't want to hear what he had to say, so... I mean, he did get thrown pretty far by that guy, so it seems like he's broke his arm. 
Um, so I need to find a way out of here as well. Hopefully we meet up on the outside. Let's see if I can just run. So performance is good in here. There isn't too much rendering to do. Seems to lead to a forest, so at least this looks like a way out. Yeah, this game has uh, piqued my interest, so I'm intrigued to what's going on here. So back in the forest. I wonder if I've got that tool. Let's quickly have a look at my inventory. So no, I seem to have lost that weapon, or you don't get access to it yourself, it does appear that it gets used in specific scenarios. Что это? Шторм? Все рушится? Это, это конец света, это все моя ошибка. Так легко сломать. Неужели это я сделал все это? is too strong over there. I'm going to try and kill this guy. Hopefully I'll get killed. No, I can't get anywhere near him. So let's just go around him. Turn into a crystal anyway. It's a bit too dangerous for there. I'm trying to find a safe route, but it doesn't appear like there is a safe way through this. Radiation levels are just about bearable. We'll start boiling in a minute if we don't find somewhere a little bit more uh, safe. Let's try going down here. Yeah, it's much better. Okay, I pretty much think I just saw a shadow just flash past me. Now would be a good time to have a weapon. Okay, it's still in the tutorial phase of the game. What the hell is that? A weird glowing green eyed shadow. Pretty creepy. Okay, so that's not going to work. I'm just trying to wait for it. Okay. So this guy's got a little radar function that you can use. So this... If ingested... Should make us healthy enough to pass through. It scans your your radiation levels just to make sure you're safe to go back out into the public. Which isn't a bad idea. So as you can see time is just all out of balance. Went from night to day in the blink of an eye. Okay, so you can kind of cook for yourself depending on the ingredients you have just to restore your health. You need to go and find these ingredients though. So I need to uh, use this little radar tool to do a bit of scout um, foraging around. So let's see if I can find. So these herbs are around. It seems the only thing I've got available at the moment. I like that kind of mechanism though, that you have to take care of your character, feed, feed the character. Uh, that's decent, I do appreciate that. 
This little radar tool is pretty handy. Seems like this is the only herb around, so I guess we'll be eating only one dish for now. Okay, so I can craft it now. That's it. Water butty. Okay, let's move on. Is there anything else I that needs doing? Okay, so let's just go forward and see if anything else happens. So it's still saying the waypoint is pointing to here. Maybe I'm meant to sleep or something. Maybe there's something more for me to do. Perhaps I need to craft a different meal. So I need to find some chemicals. Alright, let's have another look around. some more stuff out here. Ah, uh, what's this? Mushrooms. Uh, something different to use. There doesn't seem to be any more chemicals that I need to make this other concoction or whatever it is that they want me to make. That's a minefield, I think. I need to be careful. Okay, let's see what I can make now. Let's try this out. Okay, that should do it. reasons not allow me to eat it maybe I'm not hungry so yeah I'm not really sure what I'm meant to do here okay I guess I'll leave it there for now I'll learn a bit more about the game in my own time and bring out some more content but yeah Chernobyl looking like an interesting game I'm um, still in early access on Steam now so you guys can uh, pick it up if you're interested but uh, that was just a quick look and so far, I'm, I'm quite intrigued actually to see what's going on here and uh, how this plays out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.